The wealthiest 1% of the population in this country owns more wealth than the bottom 90%. So if we're going to talk, I guess it's not interesting, Mr. Chairman. There's so much greed and so much money goes outside of this country that they've become criminals. You know, I've been saying this for 20 years and he's saying the same exact thing that I've been saying forever. So I'm here to support Bernie Sanders. Frederick Douglass said it right. Freedom is never given to you. It has to be fought for. This is the fight for the soul of our democracy. Yeah! And we will not be silenced. In just a few hours, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton will show up for a fundraiser where a table cost over $325,000 per guest. And guess what's going to happen right next door? Well, on this blustery day, Bernie Sanders supporters have gotten the home of another millionaire to throw a gloomy counterparty with a big surprise. A stunt that triggers public awareness far and wide after Hillary Clinton's big money fundraising convoy is showered with money, much like the embarrassed officials recently involved in the FIFA soccer scandal. A couple has to raise uh, or contribute $353,400 for premium seating. Why is it obscene? It's not only this Clooney event. Uh, it is the fact that she has now raised well over $15 million from Wall Street for her super PAC and millions more from the fossil fuel industry and from the drug companies. So how do you launch a stunt that catches worldwide attention? We're standing here by the hundreds. As you can see, we've got camera people from all over, including The Hill, Variety Magazine, print, radio, and TV media. There's Jay Ponte, one of the greatest organizers ever, and we're waiting for Hillary Clinton's convoy to appear. But here's the plan. As the so-called 1% goes up the hill toward Clooney's, we wait for the Clinton convoy. And then to make a bold example about big money and big politics, we'll shower her motorcade with thousands of $1 bills. And after the well-timed stunt went off without a hitch, hundreds of people poured into the streets. On her way to a fundraiser at George Clooney's house last night, Hillary Clinton's motorcade was showered with $1,001 bills. The host of that fundraiser, George Clooney, what's interesting is he seems to agree. And they're right to protest. They're absolutely right. It is an obscene amount of money. The Sanders campaign, when they talk about it, is absolutely right. It's ridiculous that we should have this kind of money in politics. I agree. Hillary Clinton spends the day in Southern California, but outside a fundraiser at George Clooney's house, Bernie Sanders supporters make it known. We're in the money. Bernie Sanders supporters shower Hillary Clinton in cold, hard cash as she heads up Fryman Canyon to a celebrity-filled big money fundraiser at George and Amal Clooney's home. Well, money is in the air. Just two days before the crucial New York primary, Bernie Sanders supporters showered Hillary Clinton's motorcade with $1,001 bills. During a campaign stop in L.A. tonight, Bernie Sanders supporters showered Clinton's motorcade with dollar bills. This weekend, Sanders supporters showered Clinton's motorcade with dollar bills on our way to a high dollar fundraiser, angering many Clinton supporters. These are Bernie Sanders supporters. When Clinton's motorcade drove by, they threw money at the car. While headed to tonight's event, her motorcade was showered with cash. Supporters of Bernie Sanders tossed dozens of dollar bills at her. Over the weekend, his supporters mocked Clinton by tossing wads of dollar bills at her motorcade near the home of actor George Clooney, who was hosting a California fundraiser for uh, Clinton. When I think about the uh, amount of money being raised at this fundraiser, the smallest ticket is $34,000 a plate. Sanders getting his own star support as those feeling the burn celebrate his growing popularity and criticize Clinton's top dollar events. 
what's happening up the hill is just emblematic of a group of people that are just out of touch with what's really going on in this country. Special shout out in this picture, wearing the red sport coat is Jay Ponte, one of the greatest organizers and activists I've ever met. And to my right is Kai Ahrens, responsible for all the beautiful artwork you've seen here. We need to make sure that there's enough ballots so everyone that wants to vote can be treated with dignity. Show me the ballots! Show me the ballots! Show me the ballot. Come on, where's the ballot? Hashtag show me the ballots. When you're out voting on June 7th, it so happens that your precinct and your polling place doesn't have enough ballots. Hashtag show me the ballots! Hashtag show me the ballots to make sure everyone gets a Democratic or a Democratic crossover ballot. Hashtag show me the ballots if you have trouble at the polls. And hashtag show me the ballots to keep our democracy alive. Francis Fisher here at Bernie's. They used to be Johnny's coffee shop and restaurant, now turned into Bernie's tonight in honor of the fact that there are hundreds and thousands of people in the city of LA burning for Bernie Sanders. For 20 years, this coffee shop is closed. It is reopening as Bernie's. <laughs> I hope every single one of you is knocking on doors because that's how we're going to win, folks. It's keeping the movement alive. The climate revolution is up to us. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We have the courage and the chutzpah to speak truth to power and not to relent one iota on the things that we believe in. It's not just an energy revolution or a policy revolution, that's a social revolution. When there's no place to run, you have to stand where you are and fight like hell. Those who care about climate change and inequality are not a fringe minority. It really is up to us to show up with integrity, honesty, and to show up with love. Hero. Remember this moment in your heroic attempt to create a permanent revolution. Hold on to this because this is not going away. We are not going away. We're going to keep showing up for the people's agenda again and again and again until we win every piece of this. We don't have time to ignore the immediate needs of climate change. Natural gas is adding fuel to the fire. We don't have time. Say no to fracking. Reveal curtain dropping. I drew wires and drew poisoning Americans. Fracking cannot be a safe. And I hold you personally responsible for poisoning America.
Governor Cuomo, why are you supporting the IDC? Why aren't you in Bonn, Germany? 